This is my credit card. When I use it, I just swipe it on the card reader and my payment goes through smoothly. I actually have quite a few credit cards to cater to my different needs. Here is a quiet meditation room. Enhance it by adding a layer of glass. By installing a glass door, I have managed to create a sense of enlightenment. The presence of glass adds a beautiful, hazy quality to the room. Both these scenarios make use of a lovely glass effect, which really enhances the way images are displayed and is sure to captivate your audience. The steps to achieve this effect are quite straightforward. Let's explore them together. First off, let's get acquainted with two techniques for creating a frosted glass effect. The first method is the background fill method. You blur the image and set it as the page background. Then overlay a clear image on top. Insert a shape and set it as the slide background fill. This will make the shape display the blurred background behind it, creating a frosted glass effect. The second method is the shape intersection method. Set a clear image as the page background. Overlay a blurred image on top, insert a shape and intersect it with the blurred image. Remove the excess parts and the remaining shape will showcase the frosted glass effect. Now let's delve into these two techniques using two examples. Insert a prepared image. Fill the page with it. Next, duplicate this page. Create a blurred version of the image on the new page. Select the image. Right-click and open format picture. Choose artistic effects. Select the blur effect. Set radius to 50. The image is now blurred. Now, let's add a glass effect to the image. However, you can't add two effects to the same image. So we need to cut this image. Then right-click and choose Paste Options. Select Paste as Picture. This way, the image can have a new artistic effect added. Select the glass effect. Set transparency to 70%, scaling to 2. The image is now set. We need to set this image as the background image for the first page. Cut this image. Select the first page. Set the background. Choose Picture or Texture Fill. Select Clipboard as the image source. This way, the blurred image becomes the background of the page. Next, insert a rounded rectangle. Adjust the shape to the size of a credit card. Set the fill to slide background fill. Set the border to white, two pixels wide. Set transparency to 70%. Give the shape a suitable shadow effect. This way, a perspective frame is ready, showing the glass effect. To resemble a credit card more closely, duplicate the shape. Set the fill to white, transparency 95%. No border. Then overlap it with the original shape for a frosted texture. Insert a text box. Enter the credit card number, name, etc. This is achieved by adjusting the font and size to simulate the effect. Import material files for the Visa logo and chip logo. Select all elements. Group them together. This way, the shape of a credit card is created. You can duplicate this credit card several times. Then adjust the positions and rotation angles of the credit cards one by one. This process requires patient adjustments. After adjusting one, rotate and adjust the next one based on it. Once done, a stacked card effect is created. Duplicate this page. Go back to the first page, select all credit cards. In Format Graphic, choose Size Properties. Set Rotation to 0 degrees. Then in Align Options, align these cards horizontally and vertically. This way, all the cards overlap to form a single credit card. Adjust the card positions to the center of the page. Add a morph effect to the second page. This way, you can see a card unfolding effect on the slide. You can achieve various display effects by modifying the brand logos on different cards. The whole process is quite enjoyable. Next. 
let's create a frosted glass effect using the shape intersection method. Insert the prepared image and fill the page with it. Duplicate the page. Blur the image on the second page. First, select the blur effect in artistic effects. Set the radius to 30. Similarly, cut this image, then paste it as a picture. This way, we can add a second artistic effect to the image. Select the glass effect. Set transparency to 50%. Set scaling to 2. This way, the image with the glass effect is set. Cut the image and paste it onto the first page. Trim the blurred image to create a glass door effect. Insert a rectangle. Drag its width to match the width of the cropped area, using it as a guide. Copy this PowerPoint slide. Align the left end of the rectangle with the page edge. Recrop the image. The crop area should be the same width as the rectangle. Add a morph transition effect to the second PowerPoint slide. This gives the appearance of a door opening. Copy the prepared text template to each page. Click on Preview. This completes the creation of a glass door opening effect. That's all for today's segment. The two methods demonstrated in the video for creating frosted glass effects are definitely worth trying out if you found them intriguing. I'm Dream. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more captivating content.